Well, I think in, in India, sports is always a challenge, especially team sports. Um, but um, but I think for these kids, really, the sky's the limit because I've I've never met kids who've got this same kind of hunger, you know, and desire to learn. Uh, as these kids here, and I was a coach back in the U.S. and I've um, I've done sports at a high level, uh, but um, these kids are are as good as any kids I've ever seen in terms of their ability, their you know their commitment, their dedication, their confidence. They're really you know fantastic players. So this award is given to ten organizations worldwide who are using sport for social development for youth. So this, uh, this award has been given to us, there were out of 400, 300, 400 applications worldwide uh, and there's only one winner in Nike, uh, only one winner in, in India and that's us. Um, so it'll, I, mean, I think that this program will provide different things to different people. For most of the girls what it's just going to do is, you know, give them, give them a better childhood, you know, a chance to actually be kids, to go out and play because in the, when you go to a village what you see or what I saw is that uh, well boys are playing, girls are working, always. The girls have always got to be doing something in the service of their family. So football is a chance for them to do, to do something different, to come together as a team, uh, to you know just play and have fun. But it provides, it's, it's more than fun for these guys. I mean they oftentimes uh, they're coming 25, sometimes, some of them are coming 30 times in a month. Oftentimes some of these girls don't even miss a single day. So the, the amount of confidence and camaraderie that they have can lead to other things. Like they, they start to pressure each other to go back into school, and this happens. So their, their team captains keep track of their school attendance. And this pressure is, before they had no pressure to go to school, they you know, just had excuses to stay at home. And now they've got peer pressure, positive peer pressure, telling them to go to school. So they also start to pay attention to their, to their health. <clears throat> before it was just, you know, uh, one girl, you know, in sort of isolation. Now she's got an entire team who's, you know, taking care of her. Um, and finally, what we we're hoping is that these girls will become, you know, employed, employable. Uh, that they'll be able to build a you know, better livelihood for themselves and for their families. Um, we were we were actually um, uh, we got called into Rahul Gandhi's office uh, during the World Cup, and he asked if. Uh, uh, you know what we were doing and, and all that and, and people from his office asked if we'd be interested in doing something in UP and I said not right now because I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get uh, too, too spread out basically I mean I think that if you look at so if, you, if you look at just quality of football you've got a lot of countries in Europe that have got you know the population of Ranchi so um, I don't think you need to really go beyond Jarkin to build something good. You don't have to be all over the place in the northeast and the south and you know Bombay and Delhi and Uttarakhand. You can do it, you know, you can build something fantastic here in Rashi. Yeah, we well we've established you can say that we've established a club. Uh, within this club we've got uh, we've got three different fields, we've got you know a ton of kids, we've got you know two hundred girls and, and fifty some boys in this club. So uh, the club we have, you know, is for Jharkhand is it's probably one of the biggest you know clubs in India, I would think. I don't know who else has got 250 players, but um, one of the main things that we're trying to do is find a way of giving quality coaching to these kids. So we've teamed up with Baichang Bhutia Football Schools, and they're going to train 25 of our girls as coaches. So uh, this is actually you mentioned Manchester United. Manchester United is uh, former assistant coach. <coughs> Manchester United is former assistant coach is teamed up with Baichang Bhutia Football Schools. So Baichang Bhutia Football Schools and the Portuguese coaches are going to be training our girls as football coaches. The futures are bright and, uh, and we're planning to take 
um, three or four of these girls to the U.S. in the fall for training.